look at the similarity of triangles, which is in chapter 8. Some of you have gotten to this, some of you guys haven't. So at the bottom, we're going to do a quick little review of what similar triangles are. Similar triangles. Okay, so similar triangles, they're not congruent, but they are proportional. So like if we have a triangle like this, we have a triangle like this. And in similar triangles, all the angles are the same measure. So this equals this and this equals this. So all angles are congruent. And then the side lengths are proportional. So if this is like one unit, two units, and three units, this might be three, six, and that. Okay, so similar triangles have to be proportional, meaning that they have to be related through a scale factor or multiplication or division. So like one times three is three, three times three is nine, and two times three is six. They also have corresponding parts that correspond to each other. So like this corresponds here. And this hypotenuse corresponds with this hypotenuse. And then this side right here corresponds with this one. So from the corresponding sides, you should be able to do 1 times 3 is 3, 3 times 3 is 9, and 2 times 3 is 6. And if they're related through the same scale factor, then they are proportional and they are similar. So all angles are equal and the sides are proportional. Everybody got that down? Chris, stay a while. <laughs> it's like you're going to do it out Okay, um, you got it? Okay, I'm going to move to the top now. So now we're going to try the problems. It says, write whether each pair of triangles are similar. Well, we have to see if they are proportional. So we're going to identify corresponding parts. So this shortest side corresponds with this side right here. Sometimes it can be hard to tell, but the shortest side will always correspond to the shortest, like medium side will always correspond with medium, and then the longest side will always correspond with the longest side. So there's your corresponding parts. And now you're trying to see if they are related through like a scale factor. So we're going to put, make ratios, we're going to put teal over teal, 2 over 4 equals, in my case, orange over orange, 4 over 8. And then purple over purple, 3 over 6. So all I did was I took the matching parts like teal over teal, 2 over 4, orange to orange, and purple to purple. We're not quite done yet. Now we have to say whether it's proportional or not. And the way we would determine that, right, so in the calculator we're just going to do like 2 divided by 4, 4 divided by 8, and 3 divided by 6. And notice how it all comes out the same thing. So that means these ratios are equal and it's proportional. So these all came out to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 0.5. So therefore, yes, they are similar. Does it say two or point one? Uh, it says two. <coughs> So now we're going to repeat that process. So first thing we need to do is identify corresponding parts. So this corresponds with this side. This corresponds with this. And then the longest side corresponds with the longest side. And then I'm going to set up my ratios like orange to orange teal to teal, and purple to purple. 
Oh, you saying Philip? Oh. 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 Okay. And then once you have your ratio set up, you divide them to see if it comes out to the same number. And you get 1.5, 1.5, and 1.5. So, yes, they are similar. Hey, Miss. Hi. The next one, same thing, just identifying corresponding parts. Sometimes it's hard to tell, but I'm just doing like shortest side in this triangle to shortest side in this triangle. And then medium length, the medium length one. Hmm? Okay. You try it. Maybe you want to work ahead. So I'm doing orange over orange, teal over teal, and purple over purple. Twenty-seven divided by twelve. Thirty-two divided by sixteen. And Twenty-four divided by nine. I know I have lots of accent. Um, with this one, it came up out to all different numbers, different decimals. So therefore, this is going to be a no. So this came out to two point two five. This came out to two. This came out to 2.7, so it's a no. Okay, got it. Peace. You didn't finish it. Okay, number four. Short, two, short. And medium to medium and long to long mm, they're all triangles let's see orange to orange and teal to teal and purple to purple In the calculator, 11 divided by 33, 9 divided by 27, and 10 divided by 30. It all comes out to the same thing. So this one, yes, similar. Oh yeah, that just means it's repeating. Medium to medium, long to long. These all divide two, so this is a big yes. Yeah, just like, oh yeah, you could, or divide by 2, 10 divided by 5 is 2, 16 divided by 8. This course is this. This one's weird because it has like two of the same, but I'll just continue the process.
21 divided by 18 comes out to this. So 1.17, 1.17. Um, so all three of those don't match, so this is a no. Yeah, we can read all three. Number seven, I can already see it's not going to be similar because those are totally different shapes. Let's see, we've got short to short. Over two, over four, Yeah, it's also slightly different. You know that boys have better spatial reasoning than girls. They have, they can see like distances and stuff better. I don't think I have good spatial reasoning though. Because like when I'm driving, I never feel like I know how far something away is. Something, how far something is away. I always think when I like hit another car. Not proportional, not similar, and that's it.